Yo. Grand Rising, my people. Happy New Day. Happy New Dawn. The sun is uh, shining from the left side, casting a shadow at the right side. The sun will only shine towards you and cast a shadow in the opposite direction. Depending on the timing, sometimes your shadows are bigger than you in real life. But whatever happens, uh, life is very interesting, so you must learn to go with the flow. What do I mean by this? If you happen to have been around a couple of friends, if you have a couple of friends, say maybe five to twelve friends, you discover they don't all act in the same way. Everybody acts in a different way. Everybody has his own unique traits. Some friends are very, very passionate, helpful, and uh, we do anything for you. But some of them can never lift a finger for you. Some of them, they all have their own issues, but the worst kind of friend for you to hang around with are the toxic friends. What do I mean by toxic friends? These are friends who are pathological liars. In most cases, such people come from different homes, but most of them come from the home of the blue blood. What do I mean by the blue blood? I mean the people who family are supposed to be the, uh, we, live, we call them the aristocratic of the society, or the rich people, or people who are wealthy in the society. Because they spoil most of these, their kids. The kids end up thinking being pathological liar is a way to have advantage over anybody they are interacting with either in their personal life or even when they are engaged in service of any company, or even when they run their company, or even when they own a company, they are so insincere to themselves. Even when they are making profit, they will declare loss because they don't want to pay the regulatory authority. And uh, whatever the company is, they undermine figure. And when they give you forecast, you give forecast maybe for three years, after giving a, a background uh, a trend analysis of five years uh, financials, but their focus, they know within themselves, ain't going to come true. It's just a way to deceive the investors and take their money. Because they are insincere, they don't even pass the funds through the company's account. Most transactions are done cash. So without a record, how can the tax officer really hold them lie? But sometimes we think uh, if you really want people to be authentic and sincere, maybe tax regime are better not too high. Because if they are too high, it doesn't make for sincerity. But back to the topic, a toxic friend is the one who, he has lied to himself subconsciously. A man who has lied to himself subconsciously can never tell you truth because he doesn't know the truth. If you consciously lie to your subconscious, at this point in time, you keep trying to repeat that lie and you continue to tell another lie to cover up the first lie. That is why they get very angry when you beat them in their game. Tell them the same lie they tell you all the time. They get angry. They get so angry. But you need to be very careful anytime you're making a phone as to where are you making the phones. If you are making the phone anywhere and people are dropping on your phone, People could be hanging around you, you may think they are not listening, but everybody is hearing. So anytime you are talking on phone, people who are on silent mode can actually pick everything you are saying. So you don't know the kind of people they are, because not everybody around you has a job. In a climb, like in Africa, where most people are idle and have no job, and the level of hunger is too much, some of the information you are saying on the phone could make them rob you, either at night or begin to trail you. Because if you've caught some high, high figures, maybe if you work in a bank or you work in a, 
a financial institution and you mention your millions, you can become a potential target for kidnapping. But the question is this, you need to be very careful about even the people you call your friends because uh, it's not possible for an armed robber to trace where you live without an insider. So most times, even if people walk under you, sometimes they could call you Oga or Madame Oga. Are you really sure you're Oga? I think it's uh, appropriate for everybody to subject anybody you've known for such a long time who is coming back into your employment to do anything. You need to put him under surveillance to confirm if he's uh, authentic or not. And I think you need to really confirm everything anybody tells you. Because these days, a lot of people are full of shit and self-deception because that's the only way they've been surviving. You understand? But you, because you overlook them, you've known them for such a long time, you think they cannot commit harder. Potentially, when a man is under threat, he will do anything to survive. And that is why they don't appreciate all purpose, impact you've been doing and all the sacrifice you've been doing because they begin to feel it's their right to have that. So such a person, in the morning, if you ask him a question, he will tell you a lie. In the afternoon, he will tell you another lie. In the night, he will also tell you another lie. You can't help such people because uh, I have come across such people in my life at a very early age, right from my secondary school days. I have a childhood friend who never tells the truth. He tells lies all the time and sometimes he even peels or steals. To date, over 30 years down the line, I haven't seen any changes in him. So if you think you want to marry such a person, either a man or a woman, or you want to do business with such a person, I think you are taking a big risk because if you think they are going to change with time, it's just a waste of time. So why don't you concentrate your energy in better places? Such people, you keep them at arm's length or avoid them particularly if you can, for your own safety and good.